Yet the man still lives. Still fights to reclaim his paradise. All right, guys. Well, you got to see a little bit. I kind of missed the recording just at the beginning, but you got to see the little intro for uh, near reincarnation and collabing with F14. So that's what we're going to be going on over today. Um, the game has been out for a while, um, like six, seven months at this point. And um, I'm just here to check out the collab because I was, am, I don't know. I haven't played F14 in a while, but I pretty much a MMO player. I love F14. But uh, I've got hydros here to uh come check it out so hydro say hello what's up i remember playing this game when it first came out i've actually uh oh, cord i dabbled it in in, a, in a, a few instances here and there uh, on and off but uh cool to see a final fantasy one uh collab yeah um game has had a few collabs and what's interesting is this this game um if you guys didn't see we did a first impressions a long time ago on the jp side and then again when it first came out on global uh just letting you know this is a grindy game like you are forever grinding <laughs> i literally remembered my ipad i had to charge it three times in a day because i was letting it sit and auto grind events and all this stuff back and forth so i haven't been here for a while um i checked it out here and there but i stopped playing a long time ago actually so before we get right into anything let's just see what we've got Oh, they let you do a free daily? I don't remember that. I think they've done that a few times, actually. Actually, yeah. Well, I... Again. I don't remember, Only but five, here, let's just try the date. Let's just check it out. It's not a full, uh, full multi, but hey, it's something. Hey, it's... Even a free daily single, I'll take it. You know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just... <laughs> looking like hot garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is one of those games where uh, it has an original story. It's loosely based around Nier, but it, it has its own story. So like playing through the game is actually really cool because if you're interested in, in more story-based gotcha, this is it. Um, this is definitely one of it. And the presentation is really cool. I don't know if I've ever, um, if I have anything available for us to do, but let's take a look at like, what was my last team I had? Oh my God. Yeah, I was replicant. I was straight up farming. Oh no, that's that was my farm team. There was one. That was I remember like re-rolling for these characters. I did I mean, get two B or two, two uh, the one on the far 2B. right. Her. Yeah, that's two yeah, B. Um, yeah, I mean, I I grinded quite a bit for the first like month and a half. That kind of <laughs> fell off because uh, it was all grinding. That was it, just straight up. And I was buying gems or whatever these were called solely to grind. Um, that's what it came to, and I just kind of got sick of it. Um, story's great, but the problem is, if you're not a whale, and you're not a lucky free-to-play player, you will be stuck um, by the story. That was the kind of the downside. Okay, I wanted to pick up some gems, so we will be right back. Okay, guys, we're back, and uh, alright, here's the thing. <laughs> I completely forgot about this till. I looked at this. So, we've got two banners. Uh, this is the one I'm going to go on. It's a paid only step up banner. So, they have a differentiation like other gacha games between paid currency and the free currency that you get. Um, let's see, do I get any free currency here? I might got a little bit. Is it just uh, stamina boost and stuff like that? Yeah, okay. Um, hey, you got some so, currency off of that. Yeah, I got about 3,000. And then this is your standard free currency regular banner. You know, that's how it is. Now, both of them use the same pity exchange recipe or material, I should say. A currency, sorry, more words. Uh, so 15 multis will guarantee you at least one of these um, uh, one of these characters if you want, right? So let's hop in to the pay banner because I bought some, bought some currency. And let's go from there. Yeah, so as you can see, right? So I've got 9,000 paid and 5,000 free. I might have to top up again, but let's see how this goes. I Now, if I remember, the gold border door was what I wanted. Well, it has, he has um, a gold hat now. Yeah, that one's, again, I haven't played in a long time, so I'm sure they added some animations. 
This one I've got three, four stars or whatever. Three stars. Three. Yeah, I think the highest is four. Um, so some extra weapons that are going to be fodder. <laughs> this is all fodder. I went pretty hard during the game because I was a big fan of the, uh, the, the presentation. Right, so you can get both characters or weapons, which kind of sucks because, yeah. When you want a character, you get a weapon, and when you want a weapon, you get a character, and you're just like, thanks, game. Got a gold border hat again, so. That must just mean guaranteed, like, the, the three star. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I also remember the rates in this game weren't exactly great. <laughs> I, I had to do. I had to go to pity quite often to get stuff that I wanted. Sounds like MHA <laughs> a little bit for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's let's not talk about. I imagine MHA has things. better rates than this, though. Well, you know what? That's that brings me to a good point. Let's uh, take a look. What um, are the rates, at least for this one? If you would load. 2% for weapons, 3% oh. or 3 2% for characters, 3% for weapons. Um the reason why it says weapon only versus character included is like if you get the character, you're going to get the weapon at least the first time. Uh but these you are can different get their, their actual step. weapons for that character. The last step is double rates. So it's 4 and oh, 6. Oh, that sounds awesome. For paid only. That's actually the same as MHA. Characters are two percent, but memories are also two percent, which is technically the weapons. So yeah, they're not. They don't differentiate them. The gold hat. So I'm at least getting a minimal three star. At least two. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since uh, most games added GSSR and all that stuff, that's all people want. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, this game is not even a year old, at least on global. So right. I won't. I'm not going to fault them for not giving me a GSSR, even though I want one. Even though I want one, uh, I get it. We all want a GSSR. So I hey, you're getting one. those fabulous skip tickets. Oh, well. You must like have got something. something, huh? I must have. I, 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 it's your game, good your and it's bad. <laughs> it's good and bad because like you you see that and you know you're getting something. What but happened at the same to your game? Sucks. I was gonna say what happened. It's like just a white screen for a while. Oh, but is, is, you're good now? Because right now, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. getting... Yeah, I see purple. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a character. Uh, it's... Oh! Fake out! Oh, hey, they added... This is the character. New? I've seen this before. This is... This is it. This is it. Is this a... Who, who's... I didn't even check who's on the banner. Epic costume acquired? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Fractured okay. soldier. I unlocked Lars, the fractured soldier. Isn't and I like got his weapon, the Iron Venom. No, he's a four star. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's a upgrade. Well, no, isn't for... fractured soldier like a three star unit? So that's an upgrade for him? I guess. <laughs> Maybe. I. You might be right, because that you. what you're saying does sound familiar. I remember Fractured Soldier. I, I, I swear I remember that specifically as a character, like when the game first came out. Well, that's pretty cool. And it kind of sucks. <laughs> oh, do I not have enough? Oh, nope, that's it. I have enough to do the, the guarantee. All right. Double rates. Well, double rates screw Two of them me. right here. You're going to get two. Okay, I got one. Oh, one could be a fake out. The fake other out. one could be a fake out. We start off with it. It is. Yep. Oh. Okay, well. Character, at least. I guess. It's true. It is true. All right, let's see what this last one is. And one has to fake out. One fake out. Fake out. Three wing knuckles. And a weapon. <laughs> Do I have that one already? No, no that's new. That is new. Okay. All right. So we did the whole step up. We got one. Um, Technically, you can now just game. The one. I can, oh, I can keep doing these. Ooh. Yeah, I'm saying yeah. since you have your free gems, you could do three summons on the on the other banner. Uh, two because it costs more on these. 
Oh, two. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Because th this uh, is 2000. Oh, well, that's 2000. Um, the last one, or a couple of these were three, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, let's do let's do a few here. Actually, oh wait, they're different. Oh, so these cost 20 multis, and then these cost. Maybe they were always 15. different. I just thought this. I thought they were the same for some reason. Yeah, they're different. They even look different, right? So that this one has a little more dark, darker tone. That's white, all white through and through. Uh, this is the other banner. Begin again. This is the paid banner. Paid gems only versus your standard one. But they're both 3,000. So this one's different because this is a collab step up banner, which is nice. Um, then you have this stuff. All right. And, and I'll show you why. Uh, uh, I'll show you that later in a second. I'll show you why this stuff is so big on farming. Because on every chapter or the events, like you farm the events out, you can summon stuff from the events for materials and all that kind of stuff, shards or whatever the case may be. And like this stuff upgrades weapons. Um, so let me see the quests, right? So if we go to the dark memory, it's telling me you need to farm this particular story. And if you do, you'll get a bunch of drops and blah, 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 blah. Um, so yeah, look at, look at all this stuff, right? So you've got, again, more, uh, yeah. we haven't done any of these. So lots of things to farm and they give you a lot of stamina. They give you a lot of stamp pots to refresh and refuel. Um, yeah, so here, like today's gorilla remember. quest is this. The daily quests are, uh, they rotate, obviously daily, but the biggest thing is they have um, these, I think, yeah, right now there's a one minute left on the gorilla quest because it's almost top of the hour, and then the gorilla quest will go away. So other thing I, I kind of hated is when it is a gacha game or any game in general, forces you to play at specific time periods. It's like, oh, I'm going to go see a movie or I've got other stuff to do or I've got work or I got to study or whatever the case may be. And you're like, I can't play at the time. And well, you're SOL, right? So that's the one thing I hate it. Uh, these dungeons are these like little memory things that you farm. You get specific memories, you upgrade them. You got to farm a ton because you got to think there are like three stop types of memories or like slots for memories. Let me see. Let's say 2B in her glory, as you can see. Um, no, it's it's the loadout. That's what I wanted. Sorry, guys. It's been a bit. Literally just redownloaded it now. That's new. Mythic Slab. I've never seen that before. So here, you need, like, every character has at least one weapon and two secondaries. Um, you've got different types of weapons. So uh, 2B, obviously, she's not a a fist wielder so but i gave her one because i needed it for the dark uh i, I label this team dark because i they need to have dark weapons to beat the light team and all that kind of stuff whatever so you at the bottom you see companions so you level up companions and then memoirs that's what they're called right so these, these are what these are called memoirs and they have like sub stats to them you know it's just kind of like um uh the equivalent of uh what's it called epic seven you know your your gear random stats that drop or random gear that drops that have random number of stats and then as you upgrade the that gear every three to six levels three six twelve uh three six nine twelve fifteen there's a specific random stat that gets boosted and like so yeah you be get like two attacks a defense and an hp stat and then you're like well i wanted percentage attack this is garbage so that's what the farming is literally find farming the right gear and then when you upgrade it, hope and pray to, to the RNG gods that you get the right upgrades on that particular memoir or equipment that you wanted. And then there you go. So like you could be farming forever. Like that's the kind of the one thing is uh, it's a farmable forever game. That's how I describe it. This and Epic 7, same concept. But this has a different art style or style in general. Um, let's see if we can just do a daily quest. So here, all right. I need to have a fire team, right? Oh, wow. They let you skip ticket in now? That's crazy. They never let you do that. <laughs> but well, yeah, that's why you were getting skip tickets as you were summoning. Yeah, I never had that before. So like, like this is literally what I would do. Auto loop it uh, seven times and start using all this stuff to reboost it. Of course, 
because the day transferred over. <laughs> this is fantastic, guys. All right, look. Um, but the art style is pretty cool. I really enjoyed it. The story is great, but again, if you're not continually upgrading your team and getting lucky if you're not a whale if you're free to play and you don't get like two three dupes out the get-go well you're kind of screwed because you can't pa progress in the story so then you have to progress in the side events and hopefully you get lucky there and then that pushes you further in the story so for a game that's pretty story driven it's kind of terrible that you're you're gated by gear and teams and stuff like that so I don't know. You played this for a little bit, uh, Hydros. What are your thoughts? Uh, I mean, the game is fun. I like like the the battle element of it is really fun. It's it's just very grindy, and <laughs> I don't particularly like heavy grind games unless you can skip ticket, which I see they see seems to they have added at this point. So that's that's good now. I guess it takes a little bit of the toll of grinding away from it. So, you know, always good for that. Yeah, I mean, again, I haven't played in a while, so maybe with the skip tickets, it's been good. But back then, it was literally like you saw, repeat 10 times, reuse stamina pots as needed, and then go back, right? So, um, if the game would load, come on, game, 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 there you go. Imagine actually being able Commencing to play. Commencing mission. <laughs> Okay. Yep. I'm just letting it go on auto right now. And literally, this is what I was doing. I mean, obviously, when you're playing the harder events, or you're playing arena, you want a manual and make sure you, you know, beat people as needed. Okay, I'm going to take it off auto and, like, actually play it later. Get the next stage. So, yeah, you get the boss. But for those who, oh, well, I'm gonna have to wait. I have to wait till I uh, actually get into one. Yeah, straight up, this is what I would do. I would take two strong characters that like I over leveled, over geared, and level up like a weaker character. Okay. Um, let me try to reload it. And show you how to actually play the game and to be fair i autoed so much i don't really remember how to actually play the game <laughs> yeah i don't remember how to play either i usually just let the game go one auto <laughs> it's yeah, just like level so. up your characters and just let them go <laughs> anyways it brought me back i wanted to check 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 it out a little bit i might go um and farm some currency for the collab. It's a nice view, oh I gotta God. say. Can I get off auto? I, I think I hit top. the thing by accident. No, I hit it by accident where it just continues to go on its own. Because normally what happens is they will auto auto attack, but you will wait for the skill bars to like uh, charge up and then use the skill as you want it, right? Clearly I right. completely screwed up. <laughs> so, all right, we'll wait again. Takes about a minute and a half to clear a stage. More of you come. This to game die. always like made my phone run hot too, so I didn't well, yes. particularly like that. I, I, it is better on an emulator if you're gonna play it. <laughs> yeah, um, and that's where I want to say that a lot of games these days, especially from Netmarble, again Netmarble, uh, they have PC clients, right? So why not have a PC client for this game? Like I wouldn't mind sitting there, let it play while I'm like doing some spreadsheets or you know answering some emails like that's cool with me i don't know um again that's me advocating for a dedicated pc client for this compared to an emulator because the problem with the emulator when you let it auto like this it would crash a lot um yeah and that's where i was like Ugh. okay so let me get off auto repeat let's just do one manual attempt here and i'll show you guys how the gameplay loop is. If you guys don't remember this or are interested at all, show you what the actual manual gameplay is. So, HP, um, you got the skills, Commencing and this mission. thing to the right, uh, right corner, right side, I should say, that's the companion that we all brought. Then the, I mine gave more, uh, 
damage to fire or whatever, they've got, you know, skills and traits. And you want to level up your companion, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, so I'm just waiting for... Let me do this. Oh, well, uh, let me take off auto in this case. There you go. So, ready yourselves. So, I can hit this skill from her, hit that skill from him, her, and then I win. So, like on a harder hit. event... <laughs> Yeah, on a harder event, you obviously... This isn't difficult for me, clearly. Um, but on a harder event, you want to plan out your you know, skills and resources and make sure you do things. So, again, this is kind of the gameplay loop. Um, the story is really what is central to this because it's an original story. Um, and it's pretty cool, actually. But if you're free to play and can't beat certain walls, just go to YouTube and look through the story. And that's the best way I could describe it. But yeah, lots of stuff you could do. Lots of farming. Lots of farming. So if this is uh, something you're interested in, you want a main game, you want something to eat your phone up all day or tablet, this might be it. So anything else you want to say, Hydros, before I close it out here? Uh, good luck with those rates. Uh, this game has had a few collabs since its release. It had a, a thing with the, one of the other near games and stuff. So, I mean, this game has collabs every now and then so it's really cool to see that cool to see them doing one with the uh, final fantasy so yeah i'd like I to mean, see more this, final fantasy characters hey, maybe come to the game this is a uh, square enix game all right so square enix is going to yeah. leverage their ips indefinitely so <laughs> we're Kingdom talking final <clears throat> Just <laughs> yeah there, there is that too so um anyways so the ff14 collab you know if you're interested go check it out um I've been Nolar, that's Hydros. If you're interested and want to see more stuff on mobile news, mobile gaming in general, definitely hit that subscribe button. Um, hit that notification bell so you know when we go live with videos. And hit that like button. Share with your friends. Share with your mama. It helps us out. Everything works. So with that said, uh, thanks a lot, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. We're out.